Pamela Schuffert reporting from North Carolina. I was riding on a bus from Butte, Montana to North Carolina, when I met a young man all dressed up in full and impressive Army Ranger uniform. He carried his 445 mag gun and many knives and several phones and military backpack and other equipment. He told me he was a staff sergeant from Fort Lewis. Fort Lewis is where many modern guillotines have been stored for a long time, for use in martial law. I teased him at first and told him I knew all about the modern guillotines in Fort Lewis. He was shocked. He said, How did you know? This is highly classified information. I told him that the U.S. military was not telling the young men like him, but these guillotines will be used on Americans and Christians in the future under martial law to behead all New World Order resistors. The longer he listened, the angrier he got. Using a few choice expletives, he said, they never told us this would be used on Americans under martial law to get rid of all Christians and New World Order resistors. We thought they would be used in Iraq or something. He then asked me to tell him more and more. Finally, so angry at how they were being deceived and brainwashed, he told me, I will never go along with this New World Order agenda. I am a Christian. I will contact my men in my platoon, 64 and those I can trust who are Christians, I will tell them the truth. I was supposed to go to Fort Hood for more special ops training next week, and then return to train my men in how to operate these guillotines. There is a special underground training center where the guillotines are. We are not allowed to bring in any cameras, cell phones, etc., because of high security and silence regarding these guillotines. They are six and a half feet high, with hand restraints and a place for a person's head as they stand. We were going to use dummies for practice, but now I am refusing this assignment and I will contact the men under me who I can trust, who will not go along with this NWO agenda and will come out instead with Humvees, weapons and everything we can get our hands on to fight this New World Order agenda. We parted him the next day. He told me he talked to his sister and family and they were shocked. They were all military. They told him, How do you know about this New World Order martial law agenda? It is all highly classified. When he told them about me, I had given him a copy of my airman magazine with my famous USAF father's cartoon in it. He was quite amazed and impressed. He told me his USAF aunt would submit my name to USAF intelligence computers to see where I stood in the sight of the USAF. He told me, she said you are red flagged, subject to arrest and interrogation and are classified by the USAF as a threat to national security. Me? A threat to national security? All for telling America the truth about coming martial law. This army ranger had told me that if he had been on the side of the New World Order agenda, he was authorized as an army ranger with highest security clearance and much special ops training to march me outside the bus and shoot to kill for knowing this classified information, or he could have called the nearest military base and had vehicles come to arrest me immediately and take me away for interrogation and termination. That is how classified my inside investigating and information reel is. Yesterday when I called him, he had even more shocking information for me. I am on the run, now. They are trying to pick me up in my USAF sister, too. Our pay and military service and bank accounts have all been closed off. We cannot access anything now. They are now arresting half the men in my platoon. Men I talked to, who agreed that they would never go along with the New World Order martial law agenda, all their pay and service and bank accounts have been cut off from them now too. Military helicopters and Humvees are surrounding their homes. They are being watched and picked up one, by one. One man in my platoon defended himself when they broke into his home, shooting five military soldiers trying to take him in the process. Some were killed before they were able to arrest him. We are on the run now, my sister and I, they are after us. Two. I am actively now on the phone with Staff Sergeant Donnie. His aunt who ran my name through USAF computers is now being questioned by USAF authorities. I am sure they are angry with me right now, as well. They may be searching for me at this time, as well, 
with this military scandal breaking and me in the middle of it. Get this word out to everyone. These brave military men are paying the highest price to say they will never go along with this new world order military agenda to kill innocent Americans and to destroy our constitution and our freedoms and people of faith and character in our nation. Pray for the men they are now hunting down like dogs to be interrogated and killed. Pray also for me. I may be picked up soon for my role in this military scandal. Pray for the mercy of Yahzwah the Messiah to preserve me through all this. Forward this breaking news to everyone on your email list. Now you know the guillotines are real. He told me they are everywhere, in Fort Hood, Fort Bragg, Fort Lewis, in all the U.S. military bases, including Germany where he was stationed. Yes, Europeans will be beheaded for their faith as well in the New World Order. Pass this on and pray for me. For Downey and his Christian men, they are hunting down from Fort Lewis. Pamela Schufert, noted author, investigative journalist, reporting lived from across the nation. It is now time for the true believers, of USA, Canada and for the whole world, to prepare for the coming crisis. It will not be without persecution, testing and bloodshed. I dare say, in fact, that it is time for the true believers of North America to prepare for martyrdom for their faith. End time Bible prophecy is about to unfold in this nation, as never before, and I can prove it.